Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to a hump day edition of What's for Lunch. I'm your host, Larry Hers, And today in studio from the Sunnyside neighborhood, I'm Ryan from Sunny's. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So uh, I saw him on Instagram and food looked good. So I, I DM'd him and said, come on in. And then, you know, breakfast is hard to get from Sunnyside to the tech center and make it look good. It is. But you did it. I think I did. Come on, this stuff's amazing. <laughs> Give us a little history of you and, and your restaurant. Um, my wife and I started Sunny's uh, about seven years ago. Uh, we both worked in the breakfast place in Breckenridge of Blue Moose for four or five years. Um, I did a little bit of everything inside the restaurant, front of the house for the first time, um, so it really rounded me out um, to open up my first breakfast place. Um, we were looking for years for a breakfast place. We finally found it in Sunnyside. And this what, is what happened. What's the exact location? Uh, pretty much the corner of 44th and Zunai. It's right okay. off that corner. And uh, smallish restaurant, Small, right? yeah. We could fit about uh, 40 people in there and we're fully open. Right now we could do 15 to 20. Um, if it's a nice day outside, we can put another 30 something on the patio. So decent sized patio. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, right now we're kind of small, but on sunny days, you know, come on down and, and we could definitely accommodate everybody. And because of COVID, you have limited hours, right? Uh, we are. We're just open Friday through Monday right now uh, with our normal hours, 7 to 2. Uh, another four, six weeks, we'll be open seven days a week again. And how would you describe your cuisine? Um, you know, fairly priced, um, really good um, homemade, you know, everything's scratch kitchen. Um, just these are creations of just sitting around and, and thinking things up. Um, I, I feel like we have a lot different menu than other places. You know, um, pretty much everything you see here, you're not finding anywhere else in Denver. Um, that's what keep our customers coming back. Uh, great customers, uh, they really promote us and, and really um, come back a lot. Uh, and as I told you earlier, like I don't eat out breakfast a lot because I'm always like, oh, I can make that for myself yeah. at home. But every single thing here, I've never seen before, never made for myself at home, nor do I think I even could. So. Yeah, and we have a lot more that aren't here <laughs> that uh, you, know, really you can't find anywhere else. So. Do you serve booze? Uh, we don't serve booze, no, just food. Okay, so just not even, food. you can't do mimosas either. Nope. Okay, nope. Nope. let's jump into the food because we got a lot of food and I don't want to miss any sure. of it. This is closest to my close up, so let's start with this bad boy. Uh, it's the Blythe waffle named after my daughter. Uh, wow. House made lemon curd, blueberries, uh, fresh whipped cream, lavender creme anglaise, and usually topped with some shortbread cookies. But, I forgot. He forgot <laughs> today. But look how incredible that is, even without the shortbread cookies. So, yeah, not your typical waffle. Yeah, this is not Denny's. Uh, this is some kicked up food right here. That is the Fields Waffle, uh, fresh strawberries, whipped cream, creme anglaise, and a balsamic syrup. Nice, I love strawberries with balsamic, and I've never seen anybody put that on a waffle. That is our Aji, um, Peruvian potato cakes, uh, house made chorizo, sunny up eggs, little green chilies, and then a uh, roasted tomato salsa on top and then top with holidays. See what I'm saying here, people? And he's making his own sausage. Yep, yeah, own pork belly sausage, chorizo, um, yeah. So keep going with the eggs. That is the boss, uh, one of our new, newer items uh, and one of our more popular items. English muffin, um, jalapeno cream cheese made with a little pickle, then fresh, uh, bacon, eggs, hollandaise, and drizzled with a whole bunch of honey. He put honey on his eggs. Yeah, a yeah. whole bunch of honey, not just I've a little bit. got to try that. Yeah. Brilliant. Even this looks so good. Yeah, that was just a side of our sausage. It didn't come in any of my uh, dishes today, so I figured I'd just do a side to show what our homemade sausage looks like. Yeah, I'm going to be eating some of that. Do some skillets, it looks like. Yeah, it's our skillet. Uh, potatoes, caramelized onions, again, house-made chorizo, uh, two eggs of choice, cheddar crust, sour cream, and a locally made 12-inch tortilla. What's the name of this one? Ah, uh, the skillet. Just the skillet? Yeah. Skillet. The skillet. Look at this. Never seen anything like this. Yeah, it's our latkes. Uh, my wife made it years ago as a uh, dinner dish for us. Kind of got in the habit of making it and it made it on the menu. Um, potatoes, carrot, zucchini, latkes, a little roasted garlic in the latkes, salt, pepper, um, shredded spinach with oil and vinegar, two eggs of choice, and green onion sour cream. Dude, Dude you're a madman. It's not often I'm impressed. This is very impressive food right here. That is the manja, uh, zucchini, broccoli, tomatoes, caramelized onions, spinach, um, basil oil, it's just basil and garlic, no nuts, no cheese, um, two eggs, and shaved pecorino on top. 
<laughs> Even the cameraman's like, wow. We have good food, you know. That's our, we, we, get, we retain our customers when they come in. Uh, the belt. Um, house coffee cured pork belly, um, two eggs, or actually they come with over medium eggs, uh, pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, and a cherry pepper sauce. Um, rolls are made locally from Harvest Moon. Um, super good, chewy, airy rolls like you can find on the East Coast. So super impressed with their rolls. See that pork belly under there? As I touch I'm going to be eating this, people, so don't freak out. <laughs> Definitely eating this. I don't know, people freak out when I touch the food. They're like, do you have to touch everything? I'm like, it's my food. We haven't done this, have we? Uh, no. Uh, the bomber, uh, roasted cauliflower, bacon, caramelized onions, cherry peppers, um, potatoes, cherry pepper sauce, and then two eggs on top. Now, the only thing, I, well, there's a lot unusual about your food and what you do there, but you don't do omelets. We don't do omelets. We don't poach eggs. Um, yeah, that's about the normal breakfast stuff we don't do. Uh, we do pancakes and they end up here today, but yeah, I kind of want to showcase the food that you can't find anywhere else. So, And uh, last but not least, the goodnight sandwich. Um, two grilled cheeses, two eggs any style, tomatoes, avocado, boysen cheese, and house-made chorizo. Oh, oh. <laughs> you should be pretty proud of these kids. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's been good. It's been, uh, it's been a good six years for us. and. Um, Three kids at home in a business. I'm tapped out. How, but, how old uh, are the kids, and what are their uh, names? Three, uh, Kenyon, boy three, uh, Blythe is six, and Everly is eight. Are they watching? Uh, no. <laughs> well, I'm assuming they're not. Well, they're going to watch it at some point. We're going to share this video, and you better uh, you give them a shout-out. They're going to think they're famous now. <laughs> hey, what's up, Everly, Kenyon, and Blythe? Well, there you go. What about the wife? <laughs> and Jess, of course. Are you kidding? You're another one on her. Uh, no, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Um, what else do we want to talk about? Um, so Friday to, Friday to Monday, 7? Yeah, 7 to 2. Seven to two. Um, normally we're 7 days a week, 7 to 2. Um, we do do some burritos. Um, never served a burrito until COVID, and then we turned into a burrito business. Um, so we do do some burritos. Um, you can find it on, on uh, our webpage, and you can order burritos anytime, too, at the restaurant. This is, this is really, really hard decision. Yeah, Sunny'sBreakfast.com is the website. And, Reservations? Uh, uh, no reservations, no. first come, first serve. Um, yeah, so you can always call ahead, you know, when you're thinking about coming down and, and seeing where we're at with, with wait times. You using any delivery services? We're not. Um, mm. No, we're doing online ordering on our website. Um, Postmate does deliver our food, but we have no affiliation with yeah. Postmates. But if you want to order our food and get delivered, Postmates will do it. I don't know it's kind of love hate with Postmates, DLAs. right? <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah. Just you're like, didn't we didn't it. sign a contract with you. How no, you but you know, this? it's nice. So. There's a couple of people, I guess, that want it delivered. And, yeah. So. What I always say is, if you're that high that you can't get off the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Ryan. Nice to meet you. Thank you again. Uh, yeah, if you haven't got an idea that you need to go check this place out yet, it's stunning. It smells so good. I'm going for this pork belly. What are you calling it? Uh, the belt. The belt. We'll see you tomorrow for another episode of What's for Lunch. Let's eat. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit.